Okay, this video is the much promised lighter skin tones uh, mixtures, and I'm going to kind of walk you through some mixtures. Uh, I'm using this model a little bit. I'm not going to be painting her, but I am going to be mixing up some flesh tones so that you can kind of see. Now she has what we would call, you know, somewhat medium uh, to light skin tones. Uh, they are warmer than, let's say, the other model, uh, some models, which are, would be cooler. So like the darker skin tones, I'm going to show you how to create a base color and work out from there. Again, just like those, you don't want to start too light. Yeah, yeah, we can see the light areas of her face, but if I started with that color, if I tried to just simply mix that color and put it down, it would look very flat. And so I've got to work to that color. Remember that in oil painting, we're working darker to lighter. And we want to emphasize the color a little more than de-emphasize it. So that's what I'm going to be doing. So she's, uh, she's my model. And uh, I'm going to be mixing some flesh tones. So again, uh, what are our colors? Well, yellow ochre is the yellow. I have a couple of reds and really, you know, any of these would, you know, I can work with, but for her skin, because it is warmer, I'm going to use the Cad Red Light, Burnt Sienna, maybe some blue, I've got a little bit of black and white, so uh, those are the colors that I'm going to use. I'm going to be using blue to neutralize. I'm going to put a little more blue on the palette. So this, I'm going to start by mixing what I call my base. And I am going to use a little burnt sienna to start with. I'm going to warm it up with the red light, cad red light and add yellow ochre and I'm going to mix it together. Now this is going to appear very, very dark, but it's, it's going to be my warm base. So I'm going to take some of that and add white to it. And I want to bring it up to almost middle value. It's a little bit darker than mid-tone there. Okay, so there's my mid-value range. I'm going to put that here so you can see what that looks like. Now, I'm working under very warm light, so that is impacting my color. I'm going to take this, and rather than just simply adding white to this, to lighten, because that dulls it down. I'm going to add a little yellow, a little more yellow, make it slightly different in that respect. It will lighten it. So I'm going to put that down next to it. And again, you're not going to see a big difference, but there's some. And then I'm going to add more white. So before adding white, I usually will change the color in some way. So there is some more white. I'm going to take this base and I'm going to add more red. I'm going to add some white. And you can see a slight difference. Okay, again, I can come back here 
pull some off of here and add some more white. And this keeps the color. It, it doesn't get it's so pasty looking. Again. So these are the mid to light tones. I can even combine these together to make something else. More white. And you can see that whole range, all starting from this middle puddle of paint, this middle value. Uh, so if we can see here on this model again, and we can compare some of these colors over here to here. The only thing I haven't really addressed are some of these grayer colors. So I'm going to do those now. So what would we do? Well, I can certainly add blue to those colors because there's red in these. It will certainly knock it back. Don't want it too gray. They got a little too gray. But that might be useful. So that's what I mean. It's really gray. And that's just by adding blue to it. It's a little too gray. So I'm going to take some more color. Just a touch of that. And I can begin to dull it down. But I want to talk about that sort of purpley color that I see at the bottom. So I'm going to go with a lizard and crimson and black, just like I did on the other skin tone. And that makes that wonderful kind of gray violet. But that's way dark. I mean, there's really nothing here that's that dark except for maybe this area but that really isn't I wouldn't put it there so I want to lighten that up And there we go, that's a nice violet. Gray, and I think this mixed into some of these flesh tones. Create some nice colors if I want a little less. Um, And at least on her skin tone, on this face, I really wouldn't go much darker than that middle value. I mean, up here in the shadow, this is kind of what I might be using. Um, yes, these are kind of dark, and so I might take a little bit of that Burnt Sienna Ultramarine Blue to make some of the darker values. But I'm, I'm not going to go real dark. And even on, on my 
canvas paper here that looks really dark. But that kind of gives you an idea. So that's just with Burnt Sienna, Cad Red Light, Yellow Ochre, and White, and in varying amounts. Uh, starting with that main puddle and adding more yellow, more red. Then we go into a violet made with alizarin crimson and black. And I've been able to achieve all of these colors that I can use on that light skin tone. If I didn't want to use burnt sienna, I could use more of the red. Yellow ochre. If I really wanted to keep much what's nice about the burnt sienna is I think with most skin types there's that little burnt sienna gives you a nice somewhat duller that's just the red the yellow ochre and white you can say it's you can see it's a lot pinker peachier color uh, than with the burnt sienna I kind of like using burnt sienna it's not if I were using a Zorn palette I'd have these sort of peachier orangier reds the Zorn palette is only cadmium red light yellow ochre and black and white and um, but again you mix those together you can get an awful lot an interesting color that's often very helpful for some skin tones is black and yellow ochre it makes a wonderful gray green because some people have greenish overtones so black and yellow ochre creates kind of a grayish green that can be handy to use. You mix that with white. And you can see those gray greens. Uh, I don't see any of those colors in her face, maybe in the hair a little bit but not on the skin tones. Here is a painting using those colors. You will see that grayish green show up a little bit more in this photograph. He has a lot more grays and greens in his face and so that gray green would certainly be appropriate there. All right, well, I hope that helps and uh, I'll get this posted.